Back in 2014, before this chin curtain was fully matured, I got an internship opportunity straight out of college to work on the administration team of a sync licensing company. And I'm not even gonna lie, I had no idea what a sync licensing company really was. I just assumed that it was music for TV shows. But after learning the ins and outs of what really goes on in this lucrative sync licensing world, I was able to get a clear understanding and have been fortunate enough to live full time off my music being used in sync licensing. But what is sync licensing? Any time where you hear music being used against motion picture, for example, like that advertisement you just skipped 45 seconds ago to watch this video, a movie, virtual reality, TV shows, essentially anywhere where there's visual media, the music being used for that piece of content is called sync licensing. So let's simplify this definition even more. Brands that make content on these different forms of visual media can't just find their favorite song and throw it into a movie clip like there was some 35 year old mom trying to rehearse for a TikTok dance. They have to license and pay for that music. Imagine your music is a car lease. The sexier and more expensive the car, the harder it is to lease. So typically you see these brands have dedicated budgets to use these different types of music. Now on the surface level, I bet you probably have one of these two assumptions about sync licensing. One, the music has to be corny, soulless, corporate copy and paste music. Or two, these companies have huge budgets and only use big name artists. And to be honest, you're not that far off. You're pretty right about both of those, great guess. But that's only the case for a small percentage of sync licensing. As I mentioned, these brands making the content have dedicated budgets. They can't always afford that Ferrari level music for every scene in their TV show, movie, or ad. And in most cases, they want that Ferrari level sounding music without paying the Ferrari level prices and without getting sued. So in certain cases, they'll use that budget to pay for music that's not made by a big name artist like Adele or Drake. They'll pay talented musicians like you and I, AKA the copyright holders to use music to amplify the emotion, pace or energy for their visual media. Boom, sync licensing right there. But how do you get paid? There's two ways that sync pays. Without making this too complicated, let's call one the upfront end. So this is basically your down payment of leasing a car. And then we have royalties or back end. This is basically the monthly payment you're paying for that car with interest each month that car is in your possession. Depending on the type of content like TV shows and movies that are not being screened in theater, you can get paid both ways. The budgets vary depending on how big or small the company is producing the content, but it's nowhere near as low as streaming services like Spotify or that recoup advance that a label is giving an artist. This is why sync licensing is so lucrative. These companies can't always pay six to seven figures for one song and a scene for their entire project. Sometimes they only have five to 10,000 to pay for a song in their commercial. And I don't know about you, but I'm not turning down five to $10,000 for someone to use my music being used and a TV show. I'm not saying that this is super easy and you can find success starting tomorrow, but I will say that this is 100% accessible to the average bedroom musician. Now you don't need a big following, you don't need credentials or even industry connects to get started. They're not looking for just sync ready music. They want music from the heart. They want music that someone spent time on, something unique that they can have their fans raving about for their content. Now I wanna make good on my promise by keeping this video under four minutes. So if you're looking for step-by-step -step information on the simple way to get started within sync licensing, or you just want a legitimate reason to watch reality TV without using your girl as an excuse like I do, then I put together a free masterclass breaking down everything you need to know to start your sync journey in the description below. I look forward to seeing you there. Thank you for watching this video.